Hey, last beholders, today we're going to be starting a new series that uh, really piques my interest into gaming and talking about stuff. Um, today we're going to be t uh, saying and talking about something called the Memory Vault. The Memory Vault is I'll be talking about my deepest, uh, dark, darkest memories of uh, how things used to be and talking about historical events, talking about my opinion on uh, historical events. Um, Really, I mean, it's no harm done. It's really just my opinion. Uh, but my opinion is important to, to me. Um, so first, we're going to be talking about my problems in general with everything going on with the, the world, really, right now. Um, my problem is that uh, my, main place of dis uh, my main place of dissonance, YouTube, has become corrupt. Um, why do I think this? Well, you see, what YouTube has done, we discussed this in my last video, uh, The House Always Wins, which funnily is a new Vegas reference, which is my my most favorite game. You can't top it. Any game else, you can't really top it. Besi besides Terraria, of course. You all know Terraria is one of those games that I'm uh, deep in with. Um... Really, it just speaks to me and its creativity at its base. Um, but, so, my problems with YouTube is that it just seems like the the garbage platform that we all feared it to be in, like, whoa, what, 2016? Yeah, like, 2016, we feared it to be this, and it's now this. We were saying that 2016 was the worst time on YouTube. I can't really say that, because it's not true. Not right now is the worst time to be a YouTuber ever. The Memory Vault will uh, allow me to vent to maybe a couple of people or whatever who watch my video. Um, people, I, re I realized that people actually did watch my last video, which is epic. Um, YouTube's just being a butt, not displaying the real view count. Um, so that video is probably my uh, probably my pilot to the to the Memory Vault actually, uh, talking about YouTube and talking about my deepest issue with it. Um, so we're just going to be getting mature here, talking about anything we really want to, any anything that you guys request me to talk about, um, and my opinion about. So basically it's become a reaction channel, um, to other people's uh, opinion about everything. Video games, you can ask me anything about, uh, like, Todd Howard, Bethesda, whatever, um, it's basically a place where you get to see my opinion on... Don't think that this is narcissistic because my opinion does not matter. My opinion will matter to you, and that's it. Um, my opinion is just something that hides a void in my mind. Um, it just is, is a place where I vent on YouTube, where I will become something. And if I do become a successful YouTuber, then fine. That from this, then I will be, I won't be that mad. Um, today we're going to be talking about, this is episode one, my, uh, my, uh, pilot was out, no, this is episode one, the expl it didn't explain anything about the memory vault, like, I, like, you know, it just didn't explain anything about it. Um, we're going to be talking about emotions, you know, I mean, if you want to talk about emotions, that's fine. Uh, Enter the Gungeon is also one of those games. I'm playing it right now. I always do live gameplay. I never do pre-recorded gameplay. Um, pre-recorded gameplay is hard, kind of hard to set up, because you're just talking in front of this just uh, kind of fake uh, screen. Now and again, I will add music. Uh, just be warned by... Just be... Uh, just be knowing of that, that I will try to edit this, uh, those videos, these videos, um, as much as I can, but I can't really afford Adobe, because I would edit the videos, I'd add text to my videos, I'd do anything to make my videos better quality if I could right now, um, I know there's free editors out there, I just don't want to use any of them, because most of the free editors that I have, um, kind of suck. Um, really just kind of, you know, the tipping, tapping of my WSD keys along with my mouse clickers, along with my chair movements, really provides a natural environment for me to, for me to voice my opinion. Um, 
So first thing we're going to be talking about is not YouTube, but my opinion on YouTubers. Um, my opinion on YouTubers is probably going to be a mini-series entirely. I can speak all day about them, um, including myself. I am a crappy gamer YouTube channel, if, if you're new to the channel, which commonly you probably are. Um, I do garbage gaming content. My videos are low quality always. My mic is low quality. You know, like Joseph, uh, like, you know, that kid, the, the swag fag kid. Um, he really was a, a kind of desperate, like, esque person. Um, I won't make any content like that. I'll just speak my opinion on everything. I won't contradict myself. Um, remembering opinions is what I was what I do. Okay, so first of all, today we're gonna be talking about 4chan. 4chan is a really just uh, it's a place where uh, people make memes and stuff, and I can understand you make memes on 4chan. 4chan is a, it's a forum. It's a public forum. Um, of course, you'd make memes about it. Um, yeah, 4chan is just this place where a bunch of people make jokes and memes. Um, really, you can emphasize these things about making memes and just making people offended and upset and all this. Um, it's, it's not that fun when you realize it. Uh... But I don't, I'm not a regular 4 channer. I don't like 4chan as much as I used to. I always used to think it was kind of like a sacred site. Um, something that only gamers went to, only gamers. Um, gamers are complex beings. Really. They, we, we, I mean, I'm not part of like some gamer gate bullcrap. Um, that will be its own episode entirely. I can't talk about Gamergate. No, I just can't talk about Gamergate over Enter the Gungeon footage. <laughs> Jesus. What is- Okay. Um, just a minute, minute of, uh, contradicting myself again. Uh, just a minute of that trash, uh, over talking about Gamergate. Um... Really, haters in general are just 4chaners, really. Come from 4chan, not Tumblr. Tumblr is a place for furries. <laughs> for furries. Um, but no, seriously. Uh, YouTubers in general and 4chaners um, have something in common. We're mix-matching this episode into YouTubers and 4chaners, so I'll talk a little bit about 4chaners, then I'll compare them to what YouTubers are. First of all, 4chaners. 4chaners, are, like I said, are memers. Um, they just meme a lot, and they like to like to meme and like they probably like to game. Um, threads on 4chan really. Uh, there was a 4chan murder at one point, which uh, just Jargon made a uh, a really good video about that. Um, go watch it over at his channel. Um, so basically, what I'm talking about is the YouTube the YouTubers who just make garbage content. Stromedy, Stomedy, Stomedy, too Stromedy probably. Um, like that. Just make garbage content. Um, Dark Lord 666. Pretty good content, I will not lie. Um, what does my opinion matter to you? I don't know. I don't know. But on, um, 4 channer side, they're just a bunch of memeing gamers who just like to talk about things, who just like to make memes and have fun with their lives. Uh, that's the stereotype about the mom living in mom's basement. It's just, that's South, those South Park mini-series about, uh, about just, like, you know, uh, dildo schwagens or something. That guy. He, um, it's just that episode, basically. I think, I think they were meant to mirror 4chan in some way with that concept. I mean, it was all about memeing, and it's it screams 4chan. Um, that episode. Um, for like, it it just like mirrors it. I'm pretty sure you can mirror 4chan in any way, but you can do it like South Park did it. Um, bunch of it, it, they you Gerald is the 
casual 4chan memer. He just likes to meme. He doesn't actually. He doesn't actually. He says his opinions online. He just like memes and jokes and memes and jokes and all that stuff. It, it's pretty good. Um. So now we're gonna get on to YouTubers. YouTubers are sometimes memers. Just to memes, uh, text to memes, uh, you know, like, you know. Then there's a commentary channels that just uh, don't don't contribute to to YouTube at all. They discuss they discuss controversy, um, which is like what I'm doing, but I'm not doing it over a specific video of Dr. Phil. Okay, um, I'm not pointing any fingers, but sometimes this content can get boring. Remember, Leafy, he made a comeback. Um, he's, he is the main top dollar pimp, okay? He, dude, you can't top Leafy, okay? That guy's a meme lord, okay? He's just such a meme lord, okay? He's just a meme. He's just, this point is a meme, okay? You can depict Leafy as anything, but not a meme, okay? Because Leafy, that's what he is, is what I'm, is what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm laying down, bro. Um... Um, yeah, YouTubers and 4 chaners um, are not one and the same in varietal content. M maybe you could make a comparison if you want to, but I don't recommend it. And of course we got, uh, yeah, people like Extremity like and all that who make garbage content for a living. Um... Of course, we never, um, jump the gun to anything on YouTube. I hope we don't. Tis to say, um, uh, we will do mini subjects every episode, potentially. You, you never know with, with what I, I will talk about. I'll talk about Enter the Dungeon. I'm talking about mini controversies and, uh, fan shadow. Basically, uh, let's talk about Killer Team Star is our mini subject today. Mini subjects never ever get a full episode of the Mind Vault. Every episode of the Mind Vault will come every single day. Um, um, before I end this uh, and talk about Team Star, I just want to say hit the, hit the smash the like button, okay? Um, it encourages me to make this content because I know somebody's watching it, so I know somebody's listening to, to my content. I know somebody cares about me. At least one guy keeps commenting. Um, so yeah, just hit that like button and subscribe. Keemstar is a touchy figure. He's a touchy, touchy figure. Um, apparently, he uh, <laughs> he's a he's probably a borderline pedof uh, pedophilic person. Um, he just, he is just at his peak, and then Idubs made the content cop, just wrecking Idubs. Um, just wrecking Keemstar on that, dude, I get those mixed up. I'm sorry I get them mixed up, they're so contrast in personality. I just keep mixing them up for some reason. Um, really, uh, people who make those types of content just really like to to make people mad. He even contra he contradicts himself. He contradicts himself. The man's not a legend. The man's just a bad person altogether. He exposed Pyrocynical, which is one of my most favorite YouTubers on the site. Um, proves his point about all his viewers being actual children, which is epic. Um, he just talks about issues, and he talks about them very, very, like me. But I, he, yeah, he just talks about issues and all that. Go check him out if you haven't uh, learned about Pyro Senegal. Um, many subjects will last about five minutes, so I mean, yeah, that's about it for a mini subject, mini subject description. 
Um, what I'm going to leave the note is uh, today, expect more episodes of the Mind Vault. This was episode one. YouTubers and 4chaners, YouTubers versus 4chaners, my opinion, 4chaners are memers and YouTubers are, uh, <laughs> they're probably memers. YouTubers are kind of worse people, honestly, than 4chaners, if you think about it. Because what they're doing is some of them are reeling into the young, young people, it just... I rather prefer to deal with the 4chaner because I just know they're just memers doing nothing. Um, so in my opinion, 4chaners are better than YouTubers. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.